Hello everybody, it's Krebbers. Today we have an Ocean Wave doll to open and review. This is Nira. She is part of the Winter Wave series. And she is one of the, I mean, the first goth mermaid dolls um, for the line and for the series. Here's her photo in the front. Here is the mermaid's mermaids. We have the little M here. We have this beautiful little portrait of her with a little glimpses into her beautiful display. She is also glitter filled, which is very Novi Stars of them to do. I love that. Um, the boxes, you can not play with their tail. Thank goodness. Um, they do come with stands, and this one was also clearanced for $11.99. Here are all the girls on the back. I love them so much. I'm gonna start by opening her from the bottom, see if that is e any easier for me to rip her from this plastic dungeon. She is taped in there. Wow, okay. Yes, in one go, look at that, all out. Here's her stand. Ooh. Her stand comes with three waist huggers with all these different sizes. It's a very tall stand. She is held in at the tail and the waist. Be very mindful of her accessories and her clothing. She's held in at the elbow. I uh, don't want to chip anything. Her hair was really chipped in there. I'm really trying to be careful with this twisty hairstyle that she has going on. Oh my gosh, there's more. Oh, finally, oh my goodness. Look at what the box did to her hairdo. Oh. Here's her little bag that she was holding on to in her box. Uh, plastic chain strap and also covered in s silver studs. It's very fun to play with. That feels really interesting with the little studs. I love it. It is not functional. And I'm just no noticing this now that the c the handle is hot pink brass knuckles with little silver studs on them. That is very punk. Oh my goodness. What also fell out was with her little uh, winter coat lined at the waist with all these beads. But this bead piece is actually velcroed in the back and is removable. So I'm probably just going to put these on her. I like this piece more than the jacket, to be honest. Look at this. So pretty. Yeah, she, this is definitely going on her. And her jacket is uh, a deep purple, and on the other half is a hot pink. It's very, very soft, and up here is lined with this metallic-y, scale-like fabric. Um, it is gibbered together. So I will open it for you. Hold on, let me just cut it open. Be mindful, they are gibbered down, so you're gonna need scissors, but here's the inside of the jacket. I love, 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 love the stitching. I love everything about this jacket. I just do not like the colors, um, especially if it's for a goth doll, or it, it just doesn't scream goth at all. It screams very like bubblegum, pink, uh, very, Adventure Time, very circus, very vanity, um, Vanity Fair. Just It's just very, it's not very gothic-y. I'm not getting that style. Um, I mean, with the pearls either, it's, it's not goth. Um, but I, I do understand it's for a doll line, for um, a web series, for a toy, but like this is not what you would see on a goth. Maybe Lalita, or maybe someone who's very whimsical, or very, I don't know. It's just not goth. She also comes with this giant mountain of crystals um, with her accessories. Oh man, so, you know, if you know me, I don't like accessories, but she also comes with a backpack, which I don't understand um, if she has a purse, but whatever. Here's her other bag. It is literally a motorcycle jacket, um, pastel pink, little iridescent. There's this clear white chain strap to hold it. 
I like it. I think it's really cute. It's very bulky. Um, but it, it holds stuff and it actually holds stuff. But be mindful that you might have to just pour it out. She also has a cell phone. Um, but the, and the sticker is completely off balance. And I just, I don't know. I don't have thoughts about a phone for a mermaid doll that lives underwater. She has a little mermaid's uh, nail polish. It's a blue. She also comes with a little coffee cup. Um, I wouldn't say it's a teacup, but it is definitely a mug. And you can't be a mermaid without mascara. Also comes with two more nail polishes. Her tail is this collection of s crystal spikes. They're just these dagger uh, crystals that are in the shape of a fin. It does hold so you can stand her up um, as she is like that, which is nice. She has that function. Um, the two other girls that I opened do not have that function. They do not have their tail with the ability to completely hold their weight just with their tail. Which is nice about this doll, so I really like this shape. And it leads into like a cluster of iridescent crystals to her tail. And her tail is a clear um, see-through. And up here it, it blends into like a snowy, dissipating collection of sparkles. It's very sparkly. And I'll show you her tail in action which I just love about the winter waves. Just so, so, so different. Yes, there is no knee joint, but they do have this lava lamp effect. I love it. Her belt is a, a heart hoop and the little clasps to the heart hoop are purple and her belt is studs. Very hot topic, love it. And she has this adorable little crop top piece that um, attaches to her sleeves here. It is this iridescent black and blue shimmeriness. Um, the lining is hot pink. I love, love the cluster of colors. She is able to move at the hips and at the chest area. She has a joint there. She is articulated at the wrist, the elbows, and the shoulders, which is lovely. I did fix her hair, so there's no more s hairs that stand out. I love this hair. Oh my gosh. Her neck, her choker is a black uh, s strap with pink studs and plastic silver chains. Oh my goodness, I love her. And I just realized that her top is a turtleneck also. And it is Velcroed in the back. Her earrings are these metallic -y hoops with these giant studs, spikes hanging all around. Love them, love them. Very, 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 very punk and edgy. So bad, so edgy. Her lips are a nude pink. Her skin is glossed with some glitter. Her cheeks are a pastel pink. Her her eyes are also inset. The color of her eyes are like a gray purple. Her eyeshadow is a shimmery black and blue. Her eyebrows are like a uh, a light brown, fading into like a, a dark. Underneath her eyebrows there is a, stri a stripe of silver glitter. I love these dolls' faces. They're very, very warm, very welcoming, and very natural. I love when it's they're also representing mermaids, so there's gonna be a lot of like scales and stuff, but what I love about these dolls is that they're kind of like the opposite of scales and grotesque, you know? I love this doll's hair. Her hair is a very intricate hairstyle, um, which is gelled down a lot. Her pigtails are very wide, very... This hair is very Xenon Z3, I just gotta say it, because I love that movie. Um, I love it. She has one single braid in the front. The... it's... The, her hair is mixed with, uh, like a pastel hot pink with a deep bluish purple. And just the style is so wild. I, there's no way I could recreate this, so 
It's gonna stay where it is. Yes. I do gotta point out the ears, the little tendrils up here. I love this little, it just gives her a person, like, gives her personality, gives her a character. You know what I'm saying? It's just, it's cute. It's very different. It's very edgy. She is not goth. She is not a goth. She could be, but in my opinion, she's not a goth. I'd say she's more of like a, a rock punk angel. Like, I just, I don't know. She's very edgy. She screams Spencer's. She screams Hot Topic. She screams like F Scum, Drop Dead, Dead Kennedys. Good punk music. But I love her. I love her style. I think she is serving. I don't know why I'm holding her choker. There we go. Much better. And they also do have painted on top, like bras underneath. I'll show you. So if you lose her shirt, you still have a top, which is lovely. And it is painted on crisscrossy bra. It's a dark blue, shimmery. The paint job is iffy on the bra. It's a little iffy, but the doll, the quality is really good. And I'm so happy I found her on clearance. And I, I give her a 10 out of 10, to be honest, I really do. Let's get her dressed up. Her nails are also painted black. Here is Nera, all dressed up and ready to take on the concerts of the sea and the riptides of the waves. Oh my goodness gracious, I love her so much. I love this little bag of hers. I, the, the jacket is growing on me. It kind of fits her. I mean, there's pink and purple in her hair. It's all over her. So I guess, I guess the jacket works. Please like, comment, and subscribe what your thoughts are on this beautiful doll. I'd love to know, what are your thoughts on winter waves and mermaids, mermaids in general? Are they a flop? Are they the next big mermaid doll? Because I really don't think that, like, they gotta give us some knee joints or something. Because Mattel's beating us. <laughs> I mean, MGA to it, you know? Um, I'd love to know, you guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your week, guys. I love you, and I'll see you very, very soon.